Chris, congratulations. Thrilling comeback on the final day, final game before Christmas. Yeah. What are the emotions are like right now? Oh, I'm, I'm just <laughs> overwhelmed to, to get the win from another tough position. I, I left, I'd done that last year against Jeff Smith. I went 2 0 down and I said, I said before in an interview, uh, I'm just one of those that I'm a big believer in never giving up. Just f fight all the way and I've, I've been brought up that way and it's just what I do and like I said, I, I come back well. I think I played my best start in the latter set. So yeah, I'm just I'm just happy to beat a great lad in Rusty and very good dark player. Even when you were 2-0 down, it was all of your own doing through missed doubles. I'm not sure if you're aware that you had doubles between all five sets. Is that frustrating? Yeah, it was annoying as big style. Um, what what was the annoying thing? I, I know I missed doubles to win the first couple of sets, but my first dart w just wouldn't sit. It would uh, it was just underneath the treble, and, and if I sit like above the treble, I know that the the next two are gonna follow. But yeah, that that was the annoying part. Just get, getting that first dart to sit right, and um, yeah, I'm just glad it did in the latter stages of the game. Rusty gave it that huge one when he went two and after that. Fire you up a little bit? Yeah, I knew he spoke before the game. He said, uh, I know we're great friends, but I'm going to give it on stage. I said, just do do whatever you feel comfortable with. It doesn't bother me. It's whatever spurs him on. And yeah, it might have got me up for it a little bit more, but I wasn't going to give that away to him. Um, but I, I knew when to give it, if I was going to give it. But uh, it meant a lot to me to, to come, come back from 2 0 down to get that win. So I think that showed me, me emotions at the end of the game. We know from social media that you watch starts away when you're not playing. What's it like having to wait until the very last game before Christmas to, <laughs> yeah. to get your World Championship underway? It's very tough, especially when uh, Callan Ritz keeps winning, you know. <laughs> I, I don't want to let Bedlam down and let him be the only one. I, I, it gives me that little bit of uh, a rivalry, you could say. But um, no, great lad, Callan, and honestly, I, I hope he goes to the top of the game. But it'll be great if we could, I know we could meet each other in the semi finals if, if we could get that far together, we'll help each other 100% and um, yeah, it just spurs me on, once he wins, it spurs me on to, to go on and win as well. When he dropped it, he's now the best player in the street, how did that go down? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll always have that kind of banter, but uh, nah, I know I know he's just pipped us at the minute, but um, he's yet to defend money at the minute, but uh, yeah, it's just great to have the talent from the North East, there's five of us in the... In the um, who have tour cards now and the standard it's just going to get bigger and I think there's a few more yet to come from the North East so yeah I'm, I'm just happy that I can say we're all on the tour together. Your seasonal averages when you look at everything not just average but your general stats are up there with the very best has it been a good season and maybe not got the results your performances have deserved? 100% uh, I keep saying to Duzza he, he says you're playing absolutely phenomenal you know you're, you're playing brilliant uh, just keep believing and I, I know how good I'm playing, um, it's just you need that little bit of luck. I got that luck to win my first title, but it's not that kind of luck I'm needing. It's Everybody's finishing well against myself, the likes in the Players' Championship. I played tremendous, hitting, ten, I think, a 10 180s in 11 legs. Um, Willie O'Connor finished well, and that, that's what wins the game, uh, if you finish well. So. Never mind these high scoring, high hitters. You know you've got to hit that winning double, and that's I think that's what's been letting us down. If if I had Ryan Joyce's finishing and, <laughs> and my scoring, I, I, I'll be world champion. I think, but no, nah, I'm happy with the way I'm playing. MVG up next. Is it one of those games where you feel if you can stick with him early doors, the frailties are there, and he'll give you opportunities? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've had some great games with Michael. Probably three or four times where I should have beaten him, and I haven't. I think that was in my head now. I'm, I'm a different player now this year. And I feel I've got the game to beat him. Um, it's just getting in front. I think that's what I need to do early against Michael. I can't go letting him go one or two nil up because then I'm going to be chasing all game. It's uh, These are the kind of the games where I need to be leading throughout the whole game, I think. And uh, I'm very confident I can do that. So I'm going to go home, enjoy Christmas, come back down uh, better prepared. Is this a new mentality from you? Because you've always been someone that seems very relaxed, very laid back, where now it seems very focused and driven. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm still a bit laid back. Uh, I don't look at the rankings nowadays. Um, I, I get told by people, the likes of Callan, where I am. It does, <laughs> doesn't bother me. I think that's lost me quite a few uh, 
big tournaments, qualifying for the match play. I was looking too much into rankings, thinking about what I have to do. I don't do that anymore, and I think uh, I became a better player for doing that. And um, yeah, it's I'm just enjoying my darts. I'm happy with my game. I just need to tighten myself up on that finishing and get that first dart right. And who knows, I could, I could be picking that trophy up at the end of it. Pre-tournament, did you set yourselves any goals? Anything like that where you wanted to get to in this World Championship? Yeah, obviously um, I was defending, I think, last 16 when I lost to Glenn. As long as I keep that money where I'm defending, that I'm happy each year. Um, because I've had a, I've been hit quite hard this year with, with what's dropped off my rankings. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just taking each game as it comes. But it'll be nice if I can uh, go up there and... Like, um, I defend my money well, but without without thinking that, I'm just going to focus on Michael next game. Just touching on what you said there about rankings not looking and money dropping off and everything like that. Is this almost Chris Davey 2.0? Is it a rebuild and you've started again? <laughs> yeah, because uh, like I say, next year, it's, I didn't really have the best of years, obviously, last year. So I could see, you could see I'm on a free run, but um, no, I'm, I'm just going to take each game as it comes, enjoy my darts, and we'll see how I get on. Chris, thanks very much. Cheers, Thank you very much. Cheers, man.